This week, the best redfish teams in the country take to the water in search of a championship. We've got more than $100,000 and two brand new Ranger boats on the line. Competition starts now on the IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's. The Inshore Fishing Association and Cabela's present the oldest, largest, and most prestigious red fishing tournament series in the nation, the IFA Redfish Tour. Chalmette, Louisiana, 10 miles east of New Orleans, and the site of the 2015 IFA Redfish Tour Championship presented by Cabela's. This region is a mecca for red fishermen with big fish in big numbers. Saw like 250 fish yesterday, so um, just gotta catch the right ones. Try to catch 16 pounds, put yourself in a position where you can make a move on the second day. Same game plan all week. Stick to what you did, it's gonna be a good day. This weekend, we are in Chalmette, Louisiana. We're in St. Bernard Parish. We're here for the 2015 IFA Redfish Tour Championship presented by Cabela's. The IFA is a team format, first and foremost. They'll go out there and fish as a team during this event, bring us two fish each day of the weigh-in, a two-day weigh-in. At the end of day two, we'll crown the champion. You know, the special thing about the championship, you've got everybody coming together. All the top anglers from all the divisions, they're meeting in one spot. Like they've always said, the cream's gonna rise to the top, bro. Moving right into tournament coverage, we'll head to day one launch and check in with Louisiana's Charlie Howell and Keith Bird. We spent a lot of time uh, fishing the Venice area and we wound up catching a lot of oversized fish. So there's so many big fish down there, we don't know if we'd have the time to cull through them and get what we need. Yesterday on a whim, we came down here uh, in an area close to where we're launching and we wound up finding some really good fish and uh, a couple pods in different ponds that are close together. Uh, kind of a, a picture perfect situation. Uh, hopefully they're still there. You know, this is fishing, so you never really know what, uh, what to expect. South Carolina's Elliot Stevens and his partner Alex Smith have a simple game plan. We're just gonna run fast and hit them hard. We're going to the corner pocket, we called it. We dubbed it the corner pocket today, so hopefully it'll pay off when we get there this morning. While well, some teams have a plan, Captain Bubby Lamy and Sidney Cantelli are still struggling with their decision. Uh, we're still trying to figure out whether we want to go run uh, pretty far down to Venice to catch fish or if we're going to stay in Delacro. Um, that's the dilemma that we have. We have been pre-fishing both areas and the last few days we've seen down in Venice. The water was dirty, but with the wind had laid down pretty much all day yesterday, we're thinking that we could get down there and catch some good fish. But we're gonna see, we'll see what happens. I think one of the things, especially in Louisiana this time of year that makes it so challenging for the anglers is uh, they have to be very discerning about the fish that they catch. Uh, it's not just enough to go out there and catch a couple fish and call it good and assume that that's gonna get you in the check cut. Uh, these guys are looking for very specific fish, very fat fish, somewhere around that nine pound range. With competition underway, we'll get on the water with Elliot Stevens and Alex Smith. So right now we're popping in this pond. That's where we picked up a couple good ones yesterday. Um, we're gonna just troll on in here and shut it down and hopefully get one to chew. We're gonna do some blind casting right now. Just, you know, I really can't see much right now, but you know, um, we'll pop in here. Hopefully we can pick one, maybe two out of it. And then uh, we just, we're gonna back out. And, uh, Shut it off, just shut it off. Rusty, very quiet, don't move. Got it. Stay on him, stay on him, stay on him. I got you behind you. Little, but we can little. We'll take a minute. a small fish but a keeper and with that Smith and Stevens are on the board we'll move on and catch up with Charlie Howell and Keith Bird most of our fish 
have been in the backs of these holes since the tide is up. The fish move to the backs of the ponds, and when the water starts falling out, they start moving out to the fronts when you fish them out here in the outlets. Uh, so right now we're gonna gradually work our way to the back. If we happen to see a push or something, we'll fish it. Um, but we know that most of the fish that we saw in these ponds earlier are in the backs. So that's where we're hoping our action to be. He's right behind him. Here's two oh, they're, or three they're, more. They're all over they're here. They're right here, man. They're right here. Oh, I had a hit. Power pole down. They're all out here. Yeah. The whole school was here. You got the net? Crap. Yeah, I got it. This is, he's a small one here. Twenty-four and a half, five, six. Right, it's a bite. <laughs> we uh, we had found this school of fish that was up a little ways, and obviously they move around constantly. And so we always take it slow whenever we enter into a pond, and um, just wound up catching up to them right here on the outside. Normally we like to wait and pick a fish, but they were laying and sitting still. And then when we approached, we were able to take a shot. We saw some fish pushing and we wound up catching one, getting a couple bites. But the school's right in this area and we hope to get the right bites, you know, pretty soon. So that's it. Coming up, we'll continue championship coverage of the IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's. Every curve, edge, line, and feature is designed for one quest, to seek, find, follow, and catch fish. It's all part of the Take Charge mission of the Ranger Saltwater Series. Experience the total performance difference at a Ranger dealer today. Whether you're trolling, bowling, drifting, anchored, or chasing the tide, these shallow water legends are built to fish as well as fly. Yamaha Outboards, you love the water, now own it. Hobie's Mirage Drive kayaks set the standard for fun on the water. Whether your passion is fishing, sailing, or recreational adventure, Hobie's got a kayak for you. Hobie's Mirage Drive mimics nature's proven designs for efficient and powerful propulsion and enhances your kayaking experience. Mirage Power, Mirage Performance, Mirage Drive. Hobie, enjoy the ride. Yamaha VMAX SHO, the game changer. The pros knew right out of the first hole shot that the VMAX SHO was the real deal. VMAX SHO exceeds two-stroke performance, delivers four-stroke efficiency, and is packed with legendary Yamaha reliability. It's the faster, stronger, smarter, lighter family of VMAX SHO outboards from Yamaha. The IFA Redfish Tour is presented to you by Cabela's, it's in your nature, by Yamaha Marine, reliability starts here, and by Ram Trucks, made for those who stand apart. Back on the water, less than 20 miles from downtown New Orleans, we'll pick up tournament coverage with Charlie Howell and Keith Bird. Just moments ago, Keith hooked into their first red of the morning. It's a small fish, but a good start to their day. It's still out there, but I'm gonna just not cast. Well, why not? Well, so we can pick out the right fish. Well, we might catch the right fish if we, by not seeing him. 
And this might have been a school of small ones too. They are small. The bigger ones were back there, but it could be a part of the same uh -huh. school. Just take your time. Yeah. So we just have to go slow and fan cast. And if we get lucky to see something, throw at it. Moving on, we'll rejoin South Carolina's Elliot Stevens and Alex Smith. They've got one in the live well and are seeing plenty of movement yeah, in front of them. Right here. A couple tails has done popped out in the middle. I think we've got some fish, fellas. There he is. Try to keep him out of the troll motor. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. He's going under. I got him, I got him, I got him. Get him out of the boat. Uh -uh, what? That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Put him in the boat. I don't think he's over. Oh, damn it. Ah, uh, she ain't gonna make it. She's 27 and 3 eighths, bro. South Louisiana, a little too big, but we're gonna try some guy. Well, the first two teams we followed opted to fish close to Chalmette. Captain Bubby Lamy and Sidney Cantelli decided to make the long run down to Venice. But high winds show the last week of muddy the shallow water, making sight fishing impossible. Throwing a gold spoon, they did manage to hook into one oversized red. I think he's gonna go over. He ain't gonna make it, bro. He's 27 and a quarter. Yeah. I think I definitely made a bad call to run down here to Venice. Wind's picked up, the water's still dirty, it's really low, we've been stuck all day. Uh, so what we're gonna do is try and salvage the day, we're gonna make a run back to Delacro, see if we can pick up two fish to try to be able to continue to fish tomorrow. So stay tuned. With Lamy and Cantelli in salvage mode, we'll move back to Charlie Howell and Keith Bird. Sight fishing from their makeshift tower, they're working the grassy edge of the shallow flat with Berkeley soft plastics on a weighted jig head. They've got one in the live well and have an eye on fish there number two. Exercise time again. I like him. Well, he, ain't, he ain't the stud, but I like him. Let's see if he likes you. He's not the I, I'd like for you both to meet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not as big as I thought he was. There he is. Thank What's you, he, man. I think he's going to weigh five, six. Hey, hey. Upgrade. Five, thirteen. <laughs> actually, we got to do that. Actually, five, ten. Oh, no, it's falling. Quick, put him in the box. Quick, put him in there for you. <laughs> Before he drops another ounce. I want that eight pounder. <laughs> there was a good fish in that pod right there, but he didn't bite. With two in their live well, we'll head to break, but we'll be right back with more tournament coverage from Shelmet, Louisiana. We'll also take a look at the Ranger Bay 2510 coming up on the IFA Redfish Tour Championship presented by Cabela's. We've made our name helping anglers unlock the water's hidden secrets. Hit the switch. It's time to reveal even more. Auto Chart Live gives you the power to build your own high definition maps anywhere in the world in real time. Because when you know the unknown, you can do the unheard of. Auto Chart Live, only with Onyx, only from Humminbird. For years, they've quietly taken you where the fish are, but now the silence is about to break. With the incredible iPilot Link, your Minn Kota and Hummingbird can communicate with each other, so you can hold on a spot like an electronic anchor, record and return to waypoints and paths, follow any depth contour, and more, all automatically and all from your Hummingbird or the Link remote. 
They talk, and you'll be speechless. For over 80 years, serious anglers have depended on Penn. You can too. When you get that bite of a lifetime, be confident knowing that Penn is with you. Penn, let the battle begin. The IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's is also brought to you in part by Boat US, take us with you on the water. By Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Lucas Oil, it works. 20 minutes outside of the hustle and bustle of New Orleans lies Shelmet, Louisiana, a quiet enclave and the seats of St. Bernard Parish. Well, St. Bernard is special. We are, we're New Orleans' most historic neighbor, and we're kind of off the beaten path. So if you're looking to get out the city and make a one tank trip and come down to St. Bernard and spend the day or go fishing, it's a wonderful place to visit. This is one of the most incredible places to fish for not just redfish, but for a lot of species because this is a mecca for fishing. Their slogan is where real adventures begin. They're first and foremost a fishing community, so they love these anglers being here. They support them, and uh, it shows. This, this is just wonderful for our community. The restaurants, the revenue, the, it's, it's just amazing. They say it takes a village to raise a child, but to put on a championship redfish tournament, it takes a village and a host of dedicated sponsors. Cabela's has been with the IFA since the beginning. Cabela's has been involved with IFA um, Redfish Tour for many, many years. Um, it's exciting to see it evolve into what it has today, the changes it's gone through, the amount of anglers it currently draws in. Um, you know, I think tonight they had over 200 anglers uh, sign up for and register for the championship so it's exciting to see you know the sport of uh, fishing growing. With the New Orleans skyline in the distance we'll get back to tournament coverage with Elliot Stevens and Alex Smith. They've missed on a couple opportunities but they've got two in the live well and now the clock is becoming a factor. We just need two good fish buddy. We missed one earlier. We had one that was uh, about a quarter of an inch over. Uh, missed one just a few minutes ago. We just, it's, I don't know. But we got two fish in the boat, so that's, that's a, at least it's not a zero today. Uh, if we don't upgrade, we're going to make up some ground tomorrow. Back on Charlie Howell and Keith Bird. There's one. There's, one. There's two. The There's two. There's one on the right. But he's there. There you go, there you go. Oh. Again, yeah. Oh yeah, he's in there. He's in. He's 26 and a quarter. Six, seven? Six, six. So it's really about six, eight, six and a half pounds. That will upgrade us. It's 12, 27. We're going to have to leave here by 2.15. So we got an hour and 45 minutes to fish, and we need to upgrade about three more pounds to be close enough tomorrow to be in the game. Fish management is a big part of tournament fishing. You need to catch enough to stay in competition, but in a two-day event, uh, you also need to save a few for the second him. day. I got him. Got him. Stevens and Smith are sitting on two fish for around eight pounds unofficially. Be under. They need to upgrade, and with time running Come out, the they've got one last chance to stay in the hunt. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think he's under, bro. I think he's under. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. Calm down. 
Come down. 26 and a half. All right, pull one. Got one! I say that's about as good as days we can do. I see it. We didn't even weigh him, but he's right at 26 and three quarter. Uh, he might push seven eight. That's it for day one tournament coverage. Coming up next, we'll head to weigh in. But first, it's the IFA Sponsors Corner. I'm Ranger Pro, Captain Bubby Lamey, and today we're here to talk a little bit about the new Ranger 2510. Up here in the anchor locker, it carries a full-size anchor uh, and plenty of rope. This I use as a storage box, but Ranger set it up to be a cooler so that you can put plenty of fish in here. This is the dash. I really, really love this dash. It's one of the things you don't see in boats. This is leather Ranger put on top of the dash. Underneath all of your control, which Ranger went to switches, and the switches they used on these are phenomenal. Another cool thing that they did is they put the batteries underneath the leaning post. So you can easily ac access all your batteries. I have four batteries in here and they're completely out of the way. The fold down seat comes with two cup holders, one for each person. Underneath the seat, you can see it's easy access to all of your pump. If anything ever happens and one of them goes out, if they're easily gotten to, to be able to change. Ranger has a complete line of inshore saltwater boats. Give them a look at rangerboats.com. We'll be right back with the IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's. Here's the Ranger Boats question of the week. To find out the answer, go to mydreamrig.com. Some days, the biggest rush of all is feeling really, really small. You know, one thing you worry about these days is ethanol in your outboard. One product I use is Lucas Oil Safeguard Ethanol Fuel Conditioner. And when you use a bottle of this, basically is the ability to protect and safeguard your motor. This five and a quarter ounce bottle will treat 25 gallons of fuel. It's perfect for marine applications. Lucas Oil Safeguard Ethanol Fuel Conditioner and Stabilizer. It's what I'm pouring into my fuel tank to help protect my investment in my big motor. Available at Cabela's. Arctic Ice loves the outdoors. Wherever your next adventure takes you and your cooler, use Arctic Ice to keep your food and drinks cold and dry. It's also great for keeping live wells cool, so fish and bait stay healthy. You can even keep frozen food or game frozen for days. Cold or frozen, Arctic Ice has got you covered. Three brands of Arctic Ice let you choose the temperature you want for your cooler. You never have to buy ice again. Watch the videos at arctic-ice.com. Check out our new Chill and Brew Team sport colors, great for tailgating. Remember, it's not just ice, it's Arctic Ice. At Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using, optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. The IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's is also brought to you in part by Arctic Ice. We put cool in your cooler. By Hobie Kayaks. Powerful shallow water anchor system. By Hummingbird. Clear, wider, brighter, faster. And by General Tire. Anywhere is possible. Back to championship coverage from Chalmette, Louisiana, where there's more than $100,000 on the line. Uh, the top prize is a brand new Ranger boat, $41,000, 22-foot boat. Uh, also for second place, we give away another boat. So on top of that, there's plenty of cash and prizes, contingency uh, prizes for these anglers. There's a lot on the line this weekend. You can learn more about the IFA Redfish Tour payouts, contingency options, and event schedules at ifatours.com. And now, let's head to the scales for the day one numbers. Elliot Stevens and Alex Smith brought two fish for a day one weight of 10.89. Charlie Howell and Keith Bird fared a little better with their two fish weighing at 15.17. The defending champions, 
Jeff Page and Rick Murphy brought in two for 1615. Jamie Huff and Ryan Tiernan locked up the fifth place spot with two pushing the scales to 17.06 pounds. We, we stuck to our game plan, which is what we wanted to do. Our goal today was to catch 16 pounds and then leave them alone. Um, everybody's talking about nine pounders here, nine pounders this, that. I, I just, I don't see every, uh, boats coming back from Venice with four nine pounders. So we said if we can go catch four eight pounders, um, I think we've got a, a better shot of, of a realistic uh, place, you know, in, in the tournament. So that's what we did, and uh, we wound up coming back with a little bit more than what we thought. The father and son team of John and Curtis Henninger settled into third with two weighing at 1711. We've been on these fish since Monday. We found them Monday and we've been babysitting them. And I just hope that the wind doesn't blow the water out to where they get well on the outside edges because we're up tight on the bank. Charlie and Cody Barton are another father and son team that cracked the top five, weighing their two fish for 1722 in second place. This championship, just awesome. I mean, this is my son's first year, and that's what makes it so awesome to me. Just being able to be in a situation like this with your son, it's just like a dream come true. It's just unbelievable. So excited, my hair standing up. The top spot on day one of competition goes to Chad Dufresne and Barney White. They weighed 1766, anchored by their big fish weighing at 927. Up there, hold that up there. 1766, great job on that one right there. Beautiful fish. And here's a look at the Cabela's leaderboard and your top 10 here on day one of the IFA Redfish Tour Championship. We didn't make a long run. We stayed kind of close. Uh, we ran less than 17 miles, I think. Uh, we're fishing mostly grass ponds uh, and stuff like that. But had a good day. My partner had a lot better day than I did. I didn't fish as good as I should have or could have. But, uh, he made up for it. Join us next week for the final day of competition from the IFA Redfish Tour Championship from Shelmet, Louisiana. If you'd like to know more about the IFA Redfish Tours, the Opens, or the kayak events, please visit ifatours.com. The Cabela's IFA Redfish Tour is a Careco TV production.